I think that Brian Harmon is the most well-rounded golfer in this field, and he is $8,800. So clearly my brain is warped, but let's ride with Brian Harmon here at $8,800 because we know he's not going to win this event, and I am okay with that, but I'm not asking him to. He's $8,800 in a weird field. And he is super well-rounded. He is top 30 in all four of my key stats for this week. And he is the only golfer in the field who can say that. Again, he is $8,800. This probably means my process is stupid, but I don't care. Harmon has made 11 of his past 12 cuts. He has five top 20s in that time. I know I'm not going to get a huge outing here, but I can get a good shot at him playing four rounds. And there should be some birdies mixed in. And that's more than what we'll get out of most sub-9,000 guys. I would say that Brian Harmon has a good chance to be my highest exposure golfer in this entire field. And I'm okay with that, even though it's very counter counterintuitive to how we usually play things. Uh, what are your thoughts on Brian Harmon? Yeah, so FanDuel scoring birdies, they're not going to be in abundance this week. That helps me get to Brian Harmon. Uh, he's going to be able to kind of avoid bogeys, make some pars, make some birdies here and there. He's going to play just slight. I mean, if we can trust what he's been doing, he's going to play slightly above the field average, and that's good enough for me at $8,800. So, I mean, top 30 is in the cards for sure. I think that he can linger with that profile, and I think that is uh, valuable. So I think the upside is a little bit higher than you might think, but Harmon, I think hands down, our number one play for the week, price considered. Our. Ooh, I like it. We're both in here. This is good. Brian Harmon, always lurking.